Um, hey everybody. So it is five o'clock in the morning. I'm frosting cookies. Um, so the sugar cookie dough that I made the other day, I rolled out, I cut some out, I posted some pictures, and I am frosting them. Um, some I just used regular icing, some I um, covered in chocolate, just some idea with icing. Some I covered in powdered sugar, and then the bottom I made some jelly. Now these will be covered and let to sit out so they can dry. Um, this jelly, what I did was I took um, these little crack, the cookies, I rolled them out. Just a little jelly. You can buy um, some good preserves if you want and just melt it in a pot a little bit. And then once it's melted, you can just add it to your sugar cookie. This I took a little bit of grape jelly and some mango that I had, let it cook down, added a little of the gelatin knox, a little honey, a little vanilla, almost like the same principle that I um, did when I did the fruit snacks, almost the same principle. So add that, then I take one of the tops and I have a little powdered sugar here and then I just sprinkle it on top. Just a little. I'm doing it over my sink and then I can just put it right on top. If you guys like strawberry, buy strawberry preserves, raspberry preserves. I decided to do grape and mango. Um, and then I have some of these little gingerbreads that are missing the inside. Um, maybe him I'm going to cover in chocolate. Chocolate's getting harder. Right now. So you can do whatever you want. You can uh, cover them in frosting. I have this tube here frosting or you can cover them in chocolate. I have some, just some regular, this is um, the 60% chocolate, so it's a little bit more bitter. Just put it in the microwave for a few seconds, and then we can cover our gingerbreads in chocolate. I have a little snowman that I did here, some little icing, then just some with like just gel. You know whatever you want sprinkles now that's pretty much it it's pretty simple I'm gonna leave these for like the next hour or two I'm gonna go to my cousin's house so I'm gonna bring these for the kids and this is probably the best time to do this because they're sleeping and so they're not trying to put their fingers in the jelly or steal some cookies yesterday I was rolling out my um, dough and my son, every once in a while, would come and gouge his fingers into the dough, which I thought was hilarious. So this is just regular melted chocolate. I did the um, dark chocolate. It's not as sweet. The cookie's already sweet. So it's good to have a little rack like I do, so all the excess just drips off the sides and doesn't make as much as a mess and what I did is I put a baking sheet under and like this whatever drips just drips down and then I let it sit at room temperature and just dry that's pretty much it I posted a step-by-step -step, um, picture pictures in order showing you how to roll them out and cut them out and everything like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this mini 5 o'clock in the morning tutorial. Um, put some sprinkles on this one. This is my chocolate covered gingerbread guy. Sprinkles. Kids will love this. You can get the mini rolling pins. I have 
mini rolling pins for my kids. That's pretty much it. So you guys can see. I have a whole bunch made over here already. And I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys have any questions, just inbox me. And I'll be more than happy to assist you guys. I will do a full video exactly step by step on how to roll it out, cut it, bake it, some tips on how to bake them. And that's pretty much it. Alright, I hope you guys have a good rest of your happy Sunday to come. I know it's 5 o'clock in the morning, but I thought that you guys would enjoy this little tutorial when you do get up in the morning. Alright, have a good night.